Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It is that time of the month again. We are here to play some D&D. &D. Welcome to What's Left of Us live play series. Um, we are going to be playing, like I mentioned a few seconds ago, some D&D, &D, which means we are going to be doing a bunch of role play. And while we each know each other's boundaries and we are going to play to those and keep those in mind, we uh, know you should know that there might be some uh, some situations and some things role played through that might not be comfortable for you folks. So if you need to, you can, of course, step away and we encourage you to do that. Uh, our release schedule is up on the side here. VODs for our sessions are immediately available. Doesn't matter who you are. And uh, afterwards, I pull them off. I give them a little bit of an edit and stick them onto our YouTube channel. So you should go check those out whenever you'd like. Uh, in addition, I always rip everything off of that and put it onto our anchor site. So you have uh, access to the audio of our podcast only, including a couple of extra little audio bits that aren't anywhere else but on the podcast. So go check those out, too. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, pronouns in my bio. That's Sam. He's our lovely mod. He's in chat. If you have any questions that uh, can't uh, be held for the cast for later, you can definitely ask him and he should give you uh, an answer. And of course, if you're uh, horrible, he will also give you an answer uh, whether or not you ask a question. So there you go with that one. I think. Did I do all my bits? Hold on. Let me think. ADHD brain. Pull together. And I did it. Excellent. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go over to the party. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Excellent. We're all here. Oh, we're all so pretty. You all might notice that we made some changes. Uh, Jinx and I went over the nameplates. We made them much more visible. So, uh, I mean, hopefully. let's be honest. Jinx did most of the work. That's true. I sat there and supervised like I do with everything. Very badly. Very badly. <laughs> We had a lot of issues. It's fine. <laughs> it's it works. Hopefully it's readable. Hopefully it's uh, nicer yes. than it was before. I saw a raised hand. What's up, Mildred? Are you doing okay? I think you muted. <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. Oh. Uh, I was waving hello. Oh, oh there we go. Hi. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, now, just for a quick recap, uh, last session... <laughs> Everyone came together. Uh, they all had their 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 time apart and uh, the about a week of getting to know Waterdeep and and doing little bits and pieces and getting mysterious little segments of each other. And then all of a sudden, a big explosion of magical energy from a certain part of town for uh, completely uh, innocent reasons uh, happened. And so all of the party members kind of conjoined on the spot, immediately suspecting their tiny inventor Tim of having done something. Uh, and they were correct, although the uh, the supposition was harmful. Um, <laughs> uh, and so while they got together, uh, it was also noted that Emery had some issues with some family that needed some adjusting. And well, as it turned out, Emery's uncle, who mysteriously looks nothing like her, uh, is in some sort of uh, detention situation and falsely accused. And so the rest of the party were uh, more or less immediately on board with uh, getting help. And so they went and they got information uh, from somebody that was suspiciously like a copyrighted, uh, uh, wholly owned property of another channel. And then uh, onwards to the evening where the setup began for this jailbreak. Um, I think that's everything, if, uh, unless I missed anything. If if you were referring to Bobby Duke as the copyrighted character, he is not owned by my channel. He, it's in fact the reverse. He owns the reverse. Scary That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I apologize. And once again, the keeper of the captions. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I, I still have no idea. Like some days they'll be properly placed under everybody and other days they'll just be mirrored on one specific person's bit. I, I, I have to go back and forth. We're using uh, Ninja uh, Video as our as our uh, conglomeration of choice, and the people who make it have been very nice with my coding, uh, and they have been helping me. So we're we're working back and forth for that. Uh, just before we get started, I do have to remember as everyone is is paying into the inspiration um, community challenges in the chat today. It is uh, Maldris Emery and a random member because. Uh, 
uh, last time uh, Rathgerther, Vernon, and uh, Tim all got extra inspiration, as did I, incidentally. So chat, once again, you can raise your voices in the choir and add a little bit of power to our uh, heroes, but also to me because I'm greedy like that. And if we didn't use our inspiration last session, do we? Does it like roll over, or is it mm -hmm. if you don't use it, you lose it? No, you get it. You get to keep okay. it. Okay. People paid good points for those. If I took it away, I'd be. It. Ooh, I don't even know what I'd call myself then. That's a monster. Butthole. But not like a cool monster. A, like <laughs> a bad one. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, Emery's already got inspiration. Yay, I get more dice. Uh, <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, yes, thank you for the inspiration. I will need it, but now for you. I've got four now. <laughs> no. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turn around and walk away. Sorry, uncle. Bye. You're all assuming I would use it against you. See, that's not fair. I'm, I'm nothing <laughs> if not <laughs> benevolent. <laughs> Holy benevolent. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, zoom over to the map screen here. Let's get everybody in here. Uh, so, one cool thing we needed. have today is that everyone got their, uh, their custom characters in. Oh, look at that. Look at these beautiful... Uh, Hero Forge, sponsor me. Uh, it... <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Give us money. I know you're listening. I know you're listening. They, um, have, a, they have an affiliate program or not? Can we get in on that? Uh, I have I have no idea. I should mention that to them. Uh, so obviously we saw Tim's on on hers earlier, and unfortunately we can't get something special for Sparks but Bark, but that's Sparks over there. Um, and then of course we've got Maldris in the background, looking all dark and mysterious and cool. We got Vernon playing with some magic and having his cup still. He's no longer some tall random vampire. Uh, this is a totally normal Emery, definitely not uh, weird at all. Uh, I'm and not disguised in any way. Yeah, and then of course Rath Gerther, the lady, the myth, the legend. I freaking love it. It was important to me that the uh, statue, the little minifig, takes up as much space as possible. I mean, you definitely succeeded. Yeah, <laughs> I think in character. when we do like the 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 next level upgrade of these folks uh you should definitely put her on an xl base with like stuff on it and stuff mm. yeah. mm -hmm. just, just make her more grand every time we'll find a way to get her always bathed in sunlight or something okay folks so as far as we know we left it off at you folks deciding because there are so many of you that both have the invisibility circles there are two of those floating around uh, and some of you have the ability to simply change your entire look that you are going to attempt to do something like that and perhaps some subterfuge for those who can't do that. Um, however, I'm not somebody who's going to just make you go ahead and, and instantly jump you right into it. If you folks want to take a moment and talk about your plan here, you know that your ruse, the children you hired to uh, distract some of the guards has worked. And many of the guard patrolling in the uh, the yard have been uh, drawn away. For how long? You're not sure. Uh, that was one of the last things. I believe I forgot that in my uh, in my recap. But well, you did. You hired some children who were very pleased to be working for the Wrath Gerther. Um, and now there are very few guards left, at least on the grounds, as far as you know. So in the 30 seconds um, between the last time we talked, I have definitely come up with some excellent ideas. And I actually did uh, copy paste the screenshot from my Google Doc into the Discord server. Um, if y'all hadn't seen that, I have, I have two main plans. I have plan A and plan B. Plan A is if this goes well, we might just be able to walk out of here with him and not get questioned at all. Um, but if that doesn't work, we can fall back on the get in there, turn him invisible, and just walk out like nothing happened. Ideally, with, with Uncle. So. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, as far as they, I'm I'm pretty confident in my ability to be convincing at the very least. 
but I don't know what all has changed in the last year. Um, we might have to play it by ear a little bit, but for the most part, I think we'll probably just have to follow my lead and see where this goes. Are all of us going in, then? Um, well, okay, so we've got the two invisibility tiaras, mm -hmm. and the other, the folks who cannot disguise themselves have the invisibility tiaras, so from my understanding, we're all going in. Okay. Because I do not want to split the party. I just have a very bad feeling. It's always a great idea. Nothing could ever go wrong. No, never. No, never. Mm -hmm. Who's got the tiaras, then? Tim has one. I believe Rathgurther had the other. Yes. Deep. Okay. Because I can disguise myself. I'm already disguised. Um, I can just hide in the shadows, I guess. That, I think that's what we decided last time. Because I'm not that's dressed true. for... You have to find a, a way to dress. Outfit. Yeah. Unless we beat up a guard and steal his clothes. And as far I mean... as I know, I can also disguise myself at will, so... Do you want to beat up a guard? We can do that. We're already here. <laughs> I mean, if we find one by themselves. See any guards by themselves, DM? There are guards um, patrolling in the yard. You could, with uh, without much difficulty, ambush some guards. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to take them down stealthily enough. That's up to you, folks. That that's some that's some rules. That is. So I have an idea. So what if I send Sparks McSparks Sparks McBarks out and and distract the guards and like yourself. have them have them I did. Uh and distract the guards and have them chase him down and maybe only one of them will go but if not then we'll get him far enough away from from the manor that we can then pounce. Sounds good. That works for me. I don't think we should be doing any subterfuge sneaky murder on the property because that might draw too much suspicion. Oh, well, wait, we're, we're not you're the murdering. One who said murder. No one said murder. <laughs> Implied. <laughs> I mean, I didn't it's specifically say it. Right. Uh, Tim, it. Tim and Rath yes. Gerther, if you refresh your D&D Beyond pages, you'll see you'll have the uh, circlets in your inventory. the power. Oh, I do. Beautiful. Okie doke. Excellent. Um, okay. Then I will find some guards, the smallest group that I can find, and tell Sparks to <sighs> maybe, like, walk past them to get their attention and as soon as they start paying attention and maybe like I don't know growl and look like intimidating and then when they start to like go after him maybe like run so that they chase him well there are the guards the gate right in front of you mm -hmm. um, oh, right. and you would imagine there are more patrolling but you certainly can't see any from here Uh, which ones do you guys think? I mean, the ones closer to us, probably. Probably? Okay. Which ones have the better pants? <laughs> they're unfortunately all dressed similarly, uh, although their pants aren't bad. They're they're the puppy sort, which are mm. the fashion here in Waterdeep. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yes, those will look real good on you. <laughs> like, that's your style all over. Well, then I will send Sparks out to do his, his little job. Okay. Um, where would you like specifically for Sparks to draw them? Back to you folks or into like an alleyway? I can quickly build an alleyway. Hold on. Because there is one in between the, the, the properties here. I yeah. love Tail Spire. I think I somewhere on a, like off the property, but somewhere dark. I think, yeah, an alleyway I think would be ideal. Excellent. Let me just make the ear sure. The earshot, I think, right. is critical. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that good? No, that's good. Okay. 
could right. just do this through the power of imagination. We don't have to we like could. build something right now. Wait, we could, but I have just built it. Congratulations. There is an alleyway. Oh. Uh, wow. Well. <laughs> with, with the, with the power of Tailspire. That's right. <laughs> Tailspire, sponsor me. Uh, let's <laughs> go this way. There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so there you go. There, There's a very convenient alleyway that you just noticed is off to the side here. <laughs> wow, um, look at that. So why don't you make me, I guess, a performance check for Sparks McFarks? Oh, with his, uh, his score? You'll have to use his charisma score, I bet. Um, but okay. you'll have advantage because he is um, a mechanical dog and thus okay. interesting on its own. Um, let me see. Okay, Steel Defender. Let's say he's uh, in the garden Charisma right now. is, oh no, his charisma is almost as bad as mine. Okay. Um, his charisma is a six. Okay, let's make, I have to use other dice because I can't roll with him, I'm sorry. You know, if you told them to like try and steal something from them, they would probably be more acclimated to actually go after him. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like intimidation, but yeah, then why not just let him run away? Yeah, I will actually have him because we definitely had that conversation. Yeah. Before we, right. I sent him out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I will have him maybe steal. I don't know, like a pouch or something from something easily oh. grabbable from like their waist oh. or hip. Well, in that case, make a sleight of hand check. Even well, sleight of mouth guards. check. Sleight of mouth. Pants okay. Of guards. <laughs> All right, I rolled an eleven. Oh. And he has a twelve dex plus one, so that is a twelve total. Oh dear. Uh, let me see here. Oh wait, does he get? Okay. Does he get? Uh, you know, where I get to... Yes, thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> unless you use your advantages that you have already been given. Do you no, have any I inspiration? I think days? I should... I have one. But I think I'll save that for later. Yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll just go with a 12. Classic D&D &D blunder when you don't make your dog proficient in sleight of hand checks. <laughs> right. Sleight of paw. So he you're... He doesn't have uh, thumbs. You're all in this alley. And you've been waiting for a few minutes, and Sparks McBars comes bounding over the top of this thing here, and he's got a pouch in his in his mouth. Boy, good boy. That will never <laughs> fit. <laughs> yes, good boy. I, I toss him a uh, couple like nails that I have in my pocket. You, however, oh, you, wow, just eats it, eats it up real quick. Um. However, your your very keen passive senses note that you're not hearing any guards. You think he just legit stealthed it, and they didn't notice oh. him taking that pouch. Oh no! No, can we can we have him run past <laughs> them and be like, "Hey, got your shit," and then run back? Yeah, I I would like to have him taunt. <laughs> oh, okay. So wait, wait, wait! Before he does, what's in the pouch? Oh yeah. That's a good question. Uh, there are... An invisibility potion? What are the odds? A, what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the keys to the back door of the house. Uh, no, it's... Um, uh, you find uh, you find uh, six gold in the in the pouch. Uh, it was literally just this guy's gold purse. Uh, yeah. I will take mm -hmm. those. And a comb. And a comb. Why not? Very well manicured person. I, d I throw that away. I throw that in the bushes. Yes, it wouldn't be hygienic. <laughs> I have lice or something. That's true. Yeah, I will. I will send Sparks back to taunt the guards and attempt again to get them to come this way. Work. Very well. <laughs> gotcha. uh, so it's indeed, the, yeah. This time he he runs off, and he goes. You hear in the distance. <laughs> Uh, and now you definitely hear the sounds of feet coming with him and he careens <laughs> around the corner and stops right in front of you like, <laughs> um, good boy and then absolutely uh, let's see here what, let's see what would they do would they be practical no they wouldn't be practical for some reason they're bored guards um, so around the corner immediately comes these two guards and they are just 
they pull up quick because they they spot all of you immediately and you all spot them obviously um what would you like to do because they are surprised so you have at least a turn to act what kind of role would it be to just take the butt of my sword and just try to knock them out it's just an attack you can all make attacks if you wish I'm going to spend my surprise turn uh, petting Sparks and telling him what a good boy he is. That's a good, that's a... Crucial. Vital. <laughs> uh, but yes, anyone who wants to can make an attack with advantage. Uh, it's an 18. Now, if I wanted to grapple one of them, that would be an unarmed strike, I take it? Um, actually, it's just an athletics check for you. Uh, an 18 definitely hits, incidentally. Yeah, so I am trying to just not kill them, but just very much knock one of them unconscious. Go ahead. You can do your regular damage, and we'll just call it non-lethal. Just whacky wax. And Rathgarther, please tell me what you've got for your athletics check. 16. Ooh, he does not make that. So you grapple, I assume, the dude closest to you. Mm-hmm. And I say, surrender your pants immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I guess make an intimidation check. Uh, With advantage, he's surprised and a a gigantic orc lady just grabbed him and said, surrender your pants. So (laughs) drop trow. I demand (laughs) me. I think we've all had this dream. Uh, (laughs) Nat 20. Yeah. Yeah, he like. You can't, like, so you, when you're grappling someone, they can still do things like attacks because you're not actually, like, physically restraining them. What you're more or less doing is you're engaging them in a manner that they can't run from. So you basically like, grabbed him by his shirt cuffs. So he, like, immediately, like, like <laughs> undoes his belt and, like, drops his pants and then it goes. Uh, and obviously, oh, how much damage did you do to his buddy, by the way? Oh, me? Uh, six. Six? Yeah. Uh, you basically conk him outside the head and he goes, oh, what the- so like the slender lady out. von arseline just whacked him on the head he goes ow uh go ahead and do it again i guess <laughs> do I, I yeah i do have to roll a hit again because it's my other sword yeah you still oh, get advantage not- it's still technically a surprise turn so oh, okay good because that oh yeah. well that's only a little bit better that's uh plus four is a 13. that still hits him okay good <laughs> yeah. uh and then okay roll the hit <laughs> Three. Three damage? Well, you know what? Uh, that was actually just enough. They don't have much health. Good. Thank God. Because uh, I realized, wait, I'm disguised. He's going to recognize me. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, so you go, he goes, ow! And then he goes, Lady Von... Oh, and then he's just down. He's he's unconscious. <laughs> um, the other guy that you're holding, Rathgarther, sees that, obviously, and goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Quiet yourself. No harm will befall you now that you have. <laughs> co- we have commandeered your trousers. We, we need we need the other clothes too. Oh Rather. yes, I thought it was just a pants situation. No, um, I I need them all. Okay, you heard. Except for his underwear. You heard the changeling stripped down to your skivvies. It's not a, <laughs> right. not a weird thing. It's it's a breaking and entering thing. It <laughs> feels a little bit like both. Starts like taking off his stuff. Um, it's only weird if you make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Okay, so uh, Jinx, you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna add a couple of items to your inventory. You will have to okay. wear them if you want to blend in. Uh, you do not have. A, you don't have the uh, the training to use this, so it will make you like. It, you'll see on your sheet, it'll be reflected by the stats will change, right? So you're going to have some negative benefits to it. I will re- make you reload it in just a moment. I'm uh, oh. going to do this. I think it, all all it is really is a chain shirt because um, actually and a shield now that I think about it. I need a shield too? Uh, well, they wear a shield, yeah. As part of the armor? Uh, yep. Damn it. Uh, let's see here. Where's this chain shirt? And check his pockets to see if he's got anything good. Uh, oh, yeah. Can I, the guy, can I check the closed pocket? Loot myself. Yeah. 
<laughs> Loot yourself. Uh, <laughs> the guys, uh, the guy you're holding also has a bag filled with some gold. Uh, he also has six gold. I guess everyone got paid the same. Uh, so there's that. He also has like a little dagger if you wanted to take that. No problem. Ooh, I'll take the dagger. Sure. Anyone wants to have that? The unconscious guy, uh, he though. was the one who got stolen from. So obviously mm -hmm. that was that what's up. Uh, D&D &D Beyond is being nice and slow. I uh, just need a shield. There it is. Bonk. Add. Equipment. Okay, so you've got a chain shirt and a shield in your inventory. You can reload now, and then you can uh, equip those. And uh, you'll see where the disadvantages are. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? what else? This guy might actually have something else. Hang on. I have like a random table for this. Um, where is this? Do I have to unequip my leather armor then? You do, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, he's got a, a quill and an ink set on him as well. I don't know why. That's just the random thing I rolled. He's a poet in his spare time. <laughs> you, you yeah, go. you find some crumpled up bad poetry. Who's, why is it bad? Uh, because he crumpled it up. He should have had more pride in it. Okay. <laughs> nice save. The perfect is the I... enemy of the good, my friend. Embrace your gifts. I used the wrong analogies. <laughs> there are no bad analogies. <laughs> It's like a shoe that fits just snugly enough. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of mixed signals from this holdup. Okay, did we get everything that we needed? It oh, I like guess I need did. to specify that I change clothes and also look, now look like this guard that we just harassed. Absolutely. Do you do that, like, in front of him? Like, does he see um, you become him? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would have the knowledge that changelings aren't mm. very common, so I probably would just change my face to be, like, his identical twin just in front of him. Right. What does it look like when your skin changes, by the way? Some some changelings have, like, a pretty horrific changing sequence, but is it just oh. more or less like you're just your flesh melts a little bit and just like just changes it just like morphs like from one uh, yeah yeah animorphs is accurate you do like the whole book pose thing and you just <laughs> yeah something yep. like that excellent um yeah he starts screaming whack him oh <laughs> simultaneously i had at him in the back of the head all right uh... i'm just startled staring at him being like what just happened Let's see here. Do I make... You know what? I'm going to say you guys both hit him no problem because he's being held still by Wrath Gerther in this instance. Just give me some damage and I'll see how long it takes you to actually knock out this guy. Just, just <laughs> this man is now our pinata. Just... <laughs> uh, that's a seven from me. Seven. Uh, D&D Beyond is being weird. Let me see here. Let's see if I can see your uh, your damage number. It is being weird. It's not just you. It's probably being a little overtaxed today for some reason. It's like the unarmed strike thing is. Oh well, your unarmed uh, strike does two damage, so that's oh one damage. Yeah. But but you know. Um, it says one plus your strength modifier. Oh yeah. Yeah. So one. Uh, which is one. Yeah. Uh, so you knock him uh, seven and one damage is very close. Uh, he's no longer screaming, but like he's woozy, but he's still awake. Vernon kicks him in the back of the leg for good measure. <laughs> one more <laughs> damage, please. <Yeah. laughs> one more damage. One more damage is enough. For some reason, that's what makes him faint. No idea why. Uh, he's the minute Achilles he's team. unconscious, I'm mm -hmm. going to set him next to the other guard and put the other guard's arm around him. Just in case they get discovered, it's going to look like they just snuck out for some alone time. Uh, Won't arouse yeah. any suspicions. We just yeah. fell asleep together? Exactly. Yeah. They're just homies. It death, happens. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's just a chill time with your homies. 
Hey mm -hmm. guys, mm -hmm. chilling in an alleyway. Yeah. That's, that's right. With no clothes on, you know, like you do. You know. <laughs> I mean, do we want to strip the other one? Do we need a second pair no. of clothes if someone doesn't want to be invisible? Personally, I feel we've done enough stripping people for one day. <laughs> you were the one who yelled, surrender your pantaloons or what, whatever it was. Did we not need his pants? No, we did. I'm just saying you seemed like you enjoyed it. You're the one. Now you're making it weird. I thought we, there was a social agreement that none of us would make this weird, and I feel like you're violating. I'm here helping you. To be fair, I do think that there's a difference between asking somebody to take their clothes off and then taking their clothes off after they've we've beat the crap out of them, you know? Well, I mean, it was not really... I mean, in this situation, I wouldn't say that we got an appropriate level of consent. But this was for violence's sake. So I think it's, you know, either way, we're... It's about morally equal. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go break this guy out. <laughs> uh, I just. Uh... <laughs> I guess the side effect of this is that there's no one guarding the door now. <laughs> or at least that's, no one I can true. see. Well, at least not that gate, anyway. Um, not that gate. So, with you disguised as Lady Von Arseline. And as I believe it was Vernon who could tr who could do mask of many faces as a guard, yep. if he wishes. Yep. Uh, and oh, yes, obviously do. Maldris now in character as another guard. Um, Tim Tam and Reth Gerther can now go invisible for an hour. All of you may now proceed if you wish. Okay, and just because I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put like the face of the other guard on, like just gonna completely transform into that other guard that we left clothed. The gate, yeah. Don't forget, you can all move your characters, everybody. Yep. There you go. Ooh, oh. <laughs> look at them. They grow up so fast. <laughs> when they move, they look like they're sneaking, even. <laughs> uh, you obviously <laughs> notice that Sparks is following you, even though you're invisible. I thought... He's, looks, he's with us. Wait. I feel like maybe he should stay back. You could tell him to stay back in the alleyway. I just, I mean, I, mean, well, I think no, we, oh no, I think we, we decided last time. last time. It, yeah, it's like a new technology that the guards are developing I mean, or whatever. Yeah, right? so he belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. You could say he belongs to Lady Arsley. It's not a big deal. Okay, and I'll say I'll tell him. Well, I'll, I will reveal to him that I'm invisible, and ju just to not freak him out. And then I will tell him to listen oh. to. Um, whatever uh amelia has to like anytime that she tells him to do something he has to listen to her right uh incidentally emery got uh their or her um inspiration as did i hey yay wait so i i didn't you so did I use my inspiration or I still have it? You you just got it. Okay. So I still have a point of inspiration then is what you're saying. You do, yes. I'm just making yeah. sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, and and now Maldris did, I think. Oh no, 95% complete. Very close. Close. Wow. I still I really have my a... inspiration from last time. Does it, oh. does it do, do I get two? Well, like I said, I wouldn't make the chat pay all this channel points these delicious free channel points these acorn bucks for nothing <laughs> thank you chat so you're gonna have two i guess um so yeah would you folks make it uh, all the way past the gate and then these guards here stop you all and are like uh, uh thanks jeremy john you can go back to the, the front gate now we've got it from here mentioning to obviously out, maldris they call jeremy and, it, well, Maldris and, and uh, Vernon are the only two who are. Uh, yeah, but between the two of us, can we figure out which one was which? Make an insight check. Well, whichever. Sh surely, if they yeah. said their name, they were looking at them. Oh, that's true. Um, they were. They were nodding to the pair of them. What is my insight? Ooh. Maldris's inspiration just kicked in. That's. Uh... That's a d20, and then add my insight modifier. I got yes. a 13. Oh, oh, wait. Gotta add. Oh, no. Okay. 
math. Mine was a 12 in total. A 12 so in total? I rolled a 13. My insight is 12. I don't know what that means. Do I add that on top or no? You do. Yeah. Oh, okay. In that case, it's like a 25. Yeah. So, Maldris, you're you're struggling because they're like nodding in a in a weird way uh, that you don't really understand. But then Vernon's it's like social uh, cues. Yeah, but Vernon picks up on it pretty quick. Uh, Vernon, you were John, uh, apparently, and uh, Maldris is Jeremy. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Um, we'll, we'll take over from here, or, or something of that nature. Um, I, I asked them to accompany me um, for the evening. I good e Do I recognize these guards? Um, oh, geez. Uh, make a history check. Why not? You probably history. don't, but let's, let's see. Why not? Let's let's roll with it. History. I'm good. I'm surprisingly good at that. Oh, but I did only roll five, so that's a nine total. That's a nine? No, you don't recognize the people. To be fair, it's been a year. You don't know who these recruits are anyway, right? Yeah. Um, and they go, guys. ah, uh, Lady Von Arseline. Yes, of course, you were expected. Please. Always with the turnover. Well, uh, some of my own guards were unable to accompany me to this evening, so I hope you don't mind if I uh, borrow some of yours. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. I will go and watch the gate. And off he trots. Thank you. I'm here to speak with my uncle. Which room is he being kept in? Uh, the whole house is his, as you know, my lady. And so Do he's allowed to walk around is? it freely. I believe currently he's probably upstairs in his study. Thank you very much. I'm strolling past. No, I'm st I am back straight, arms crossed lightly in front, just trying to be mm -hmm. as in character as possible. You notice that weirdly no one is, well, actually maybe not weirdly, uh, considering uh, who you are. Uh, this is, uh, no one is, is really looking second at you. Uh, but Rath, Gerther, and Tim, why don't you please give me stealth checks? Uh, with advantage, obviously, because you're both uh, very invisible at the moment. Twenty-one. I was muted, but I got a nat 20, so 23! Hey, nice. there you go! My first roll was a five, so I'm glad I had advantage. Hmm. Look at that. Saw that first roll pop up on D and D Beyond, and I was just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "All right, everybody, you may continue into the home. Remember, if you wish to make sure things remain uh, visible for you, you can drag the green uh, diamond down to the appropriate level, and you can simply uh, use that." Dude's in here. Yes, you automatically, you, when you walk right through, you immediately see um, there's a couple of guards and a very well-appointed looking guard. Uh, you imagine this to be a captain uh, simply standing there uh, and chatting a little bit about things. Do I recognize this one? The captain? If, um, if, if he's a captain, would I recognize, remember this uh, punk? She. Uh, and yes, it, it's, it's a city guard you recognize. They were not the captain the last time you knew. Um, uh, but she definitely walks forward and says, ah, Eddie Van Arseline, you were here a little bit earlier than we expected tonight, but, uh, I assume you wish to see your uncle. Of course. Uh, he this, should be upstairs. What's the guard's name? Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, this is Remy. Ready you never bothered to learn Remy's full name when you, uh, when you knew them. It's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to engage in conversation. It's fine. Uh, yeah. And so uh, upstairs, uh, she mentions, she motions with her hand. And um, she doesn't appear to be interested in accompanying you. This is you. When you were operating in these circles, you probably heard of when nobles were, were arrested for something. And of course, they'd be put on house arrest instead of going to a prison normally, unless they did something really heinous. Um, and so you, you imagine that your uncle has had the run of the house just fine, and the only real thing stopping him from leaving is the guards outside. Um, and so the guards inside are probably not very many. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just let you know it did not go unnoticed that I was apparently expected tonight, and I'm just like, okay, we gotta do this quick. <laughs> Before the quote-unquote real one shows up, uh, Beans. 
trying to find how do we get upstairs. There are stairways right next to you. They're in a yeah, I know. I'm just trying to fart around with the levels. Does that mean? I, no. Which one's I can it's so dark. also just place all of you upstairs if you wish. Oh, and if it's too dark for you all, hold on. I was attempting for atmosphere, dark. but let me let me let me pump the exposure a little bit. Uh, uh, oh, how's that? Better? That much looks better, much nicer. You. Yes. There we are. Apologies, everybody. It's all right. I figured it was supposed to be that atmospheric. Right. Couldn't see. All right. Uh, which room is is just? I see a bedroom. That is true. Yeah, there is a study with a spare bedroom. You know that that's uh, up there. Uh, your uncle liked to uh, study where he slept, as it were. Okay, so the study is his bedroom? Yes. Um, I'll just kind of give a nod to the guards outside the door and say, is my uncle inside? Uh, yes, we believe he is. He went in some time ago. Well, I wish to see him. Uh, by all means, the house is yours, madam. We shall leave you, as you have guards. Thank you. I open the door. Indeed. You open the door into a very small, um, ish quarters. Your uncle wasn't known for his ostentatious uh, nature, uh, despite the house he's in. He preferred things to be, you know, uh, you knew him mostly for being in his hunting cabin outside the city walls all the time. He enjoyed it. He hated the city. Um, but currently there's a figure turned away from you at a desk and he turns and for the first time in a very long time, you're seeing your uncle. Uh, blonde hair starting to get a little bit gray with age now. Um, all of skin, tall elf. Uh, he carries a, a noble cane on him. You see that he's wearing um, a little bit of armor underneath his jacket right now. Uh, you imagine that's for his own protection at the moment. Um, you know. Uh, you're, you're seeing him, and he has a very sour look on his face as soon as you step through the door. Yeah, probably. Uncle? Niece? How have you been faring during your time here? Oh, you're caring about that now. For, for the record, just just saying this to you guys not in character, I am trying so hard to figure out what the... Uh, I'm vibe-checking this entire situation, trying to figure out like how I should be acting, how I should be treating him. And I'm oh, just do like, you want to oh. make an inside check? I would love to make an inside check because everyone was like, oh, yes, we're expecting you. I'm like, OK, are we on good terms? What does that mean? I'm I'm mm -hmm. vibe checking this so hard to see what type of uh, just what type of situation I'm in. Uh, OK, it says uh, insight is negative one. It's a six. It's a six. I mean, it doesn't take a mind reader to see that he is upset, uh, but you're not exactly sure in what manner that's. Well, I can still work with that, though. Mm -hmm. I know this is sudden, but you'll be coming with me this evening. <laughs> I'm sure you're excited to finally leave your home. We have something special planned for you back at the manor. I'm sure you've cleared this with the captain. I doubt that'll be something that could happen. Oh, I'm sure the captain will do as I say. We'll be returning I'm... you upon morning. It's just that it's harder to interrogate a corpse. Oh, indeed. And I didn't realize the Lady Von Arslane had the power of her father yet. Have you offed him as well? The captain will do as I say. One way or another. Oh, indeed. Well, if we're going downstairs to do that, I might as well make myself a sandwich while you make the attempt. Come on! Oh, I, I, uh, he's See, on the ceiling. As, as he, as he walks past me, I'm going to kind of grab yeah. his shoulder, drop the voice and be like, play along if you want to live. Mm, oh, hang on. Hang on a second. I made him disappear for half a second. Oh, he rolls really good on his insight check. Um, I assume you're not trying to hide much from him in this exact like flash. 
I'm, I'm dropping the voice. I'm just, I'm looking at him. I'm just like, play along. Um, he doesn't say anything, but he does raise an eyebrow. Now, the problem is, I, of course, lost him because I put him on the roof. <laughs> Give me a moment. He disappeared. My people need me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it worked. Uh, we can go home now. Uh, he's outside, yeah. Uh, where the hell did I put him? Oh my goodness. Did I lose your uncle? I am so sorry. <laughs> he's gone to the <laughs> void! <laughs> His definition oh, of making God. a sandwich. <laughs> where is he? There he, he is. He became a sandwich. Making a sandwich. <laughs> There you go. Turns out he didn't need our help after all. No. I did not make him unique was the problem. I found him. I, I have it. into a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't consider that as an option for the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he turns into Turn a him sandwich. into a sandwich and we just walk out. He's like, oh, yes, dinner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that sandwich looks delicious. You should take a bite. Um, mm, tasty. Right. Uh, so yes, you can all begin to go down the stairs now if you wish. Okay. I, I, as he kind of raises his eyebrows, I'm just kind of like kind of go back into character and start walking downstairs without saying anything else. Absolutely. Um, once you're downstairs, he just kind of brushes past the captain and immediately heads towards the kitchen. Uh, the captain doesn't really even do much more than nod. Um, you know, Lord under my breath, sort of deal. Um, and uh, you see, like he's just not. He, he seems very convinced this is not going to work. Um, but you can, of course, stride right up to Remy and uh, see if you can get her to do what you're after. Captain? I'll be, yes, needing, to borrow my, I'll be needing to borrow my uncle for the evening, if that's quite all right with you. I'm sure that I have enough security that they are more than capable of dealing with him. Um, but we have something, we have some further interrogation that we'll need to do back at my manor, and so it would greatly behoove you to allow us to uh, let him come with us briefly. We will return him in the morning when he is suitably prepared. My lady, without an order from your father, I can't justify making the prisoner leave. If you need to, you can interrogate him here. We can set up a secure location but for it. it. We have something very special in mind that must take place at the alternate manor. It's not something that can be... The machine can't be moved. Uh, cor correct. The machine... You realize your uncle has yet to stand trial. I know he does. He's still going to stand trial. This, the intent is not to kill him. What do I look like, a monster? He will still be given fair trial after this. But it's hard to interrogate a corpse for information. I am still bound by the laws of Waterdeep. I need a signed signature from your... Father, I need you a are rip. bound by the laws of my family. Why don't you try and go ahead and make a persuasion check? But you're going to have to make it a disadvantage. Can Unless I, you want to use... I, can I use oh. my advantage to even it out? <laughs> you can, yeah. Okay, or my inspiration. Okay, there's that. Now, um, really quick. I, as a feature of my my uh, background I have the ability to forge documents uh, should That's I try that you, you're going to need to find a writing desk, some paper some quill and ink and then you'll need a uh, a facsimile to work from I mysteriously run back upstairs to the desk <laughs> <laughs> do it stealthily <laughs> Point of order. <laughs> Point of order. We did get a quill and ink from the guard if you, you recall. did. True. That's right. It's true. That is true. We did uh -huh. do that. <laughs> Uh, no one really takes together. notice of a guard leaving this particular throng. So as long as you don't sprint upstairs, Except I think you'll be okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and... Um, uh, uh, Vernon, why don't you give me a... Um, uh, why don't you give me an investigation check? See if there's anything on his desk that you could use as a facsimile. There are lots of papers lying around. 18. Oh. Um, you do actually see the original orders that keep him in this house on there, and it is indeed signed by the Lord Arceline. Ah, so I can use that as like a method to make up my document to make it look official. Yes. Oh, uh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. It is accompanied by a seal of the Masked Lords of Waterdeep. 
Ah. Who that? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, the the Mast Lords of Waterdeep are the people who run the city. Uh, they're called the Mast Lords oh. because no one knows who they are so that they can't be bribed. Uh, oh, so literally we don't know who that is. Okay. Correct. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just make up my document and I'm going to seal it. Using that same seal, if you can reuse the seal, I don't know. Uh, I, As someone who can... uses wax seals quite frequently, um, <laughs> if you just heat un the underside a little bit, you can probably just try and like... And there's a candle right, right here, so... Yes, the, there is the more than there. enough equipment right there. You're going to have to give me a performance check to see how well you do this, though. Okay, let's see. Oh, 14. 14? Okay. Yep. Uh you as far as you know you did an excellent job okay all right i come back down the stairs adjusting my belt because again i had to use the bathroom very well okay and then i just kind of i don't know do i stealthily pass that off to you or just say <laughs> that i for some reason have it you could slide a hand it to her okay um well, and that... while that's happening, Emery, what did you get for your persuasion check? I haven't rolled yet because I'm terrified. <laughs> I was waiting for all this to be over. Okay. All right, I got a 21 for my sleight of hand, so I just kind of put it in her don't hand. Don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me. Huh. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. That's a nine. I mean, you can see that your argument without a writ is probably not going to do enough to actually get your uncle outside of this house. Um... However, while you see her, like, crinkling her brow and trying really hard to not tell a very influential lady that she can't do what she wants, um, <clears throat> you feel uh, a piece of paper being pressed into your palm from behind your back. My lady, ah. you, you dropped this. Ah, yes, thank you. I was... You know, I, we must have dropped Solid it on the way over work. here. We must have <laughs> dropped it on the way over here. I apologize. Here's that. And I pass it to Remy. I'm gonna use one of my things. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, that makes it much more interesting. Uh, and she takes it and she goes, "Hmm. All right, I'll need to verify this first. I will send a runner to your home. Um, for the time being, please join your uncle in the kitchen, and we'll make sure that we are ready for you to leave." Is there a window in the kitchen? That's a good question. You'll have to go in there to double check. <laughs> the guards oh, and her, the they immediately leave through the front, uh, basically through the front door, uh, leaving you all in the house with whoever's remaining upstairs and obviously your uncle. I would like to sneak uh, off somewhere where there's no guards in earshot with uh, sparks. And I would like to... <sighs> Fuck. Um, I think I would like to write a little note. This I hope I don't screw this. Um, that says something like, "Don't like say that it was accepted or affirmed or whatever." Because he's like being sent to basically have the person say, "Like, yes, I did write this thing, right?" Right. So I'm going to write a note that says, like, basically, like, telling them, hey, no, you should just lie and say that it was confirmed. And I'm going to put it in the pouch that I stole from the one guard earlier. And I'm going to put in, let's see, 10 gold. Okay. And I'm going to give the pouch to Sparks. And I'm going to say... Go chase after that guy and give this to him. Okay. And I'm going to do all of this very quietly and invisibly. Okay. Why don't you make me a stealth check? Nice. You said stealth? Yeah. Uh, with advantage, you're still invisible. Well, I rolled an unnatural 20 uh, for oh. my first roll. Oh, <laughs> and a natural one for my second roll. So, oh. so, <laughs> so it's funny. <laughs> Good thing you have advantage, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah. absolutely, uh, you do this all stealthy, you tell Sparks to go, and Sparks, without regarding any of the guards, just bolts out of the house. 
Perfect. Um, at this point, the guards have all either assumed that this is like the lady's hound or something, and so don't really seem to raise a fuss about it, as far as you can tell. Uh, and you can rejoin the others. Speaking of which, how are the others doing in the kitchen? Well, the Lord Arsley is indeed eating a sandwich. Sorry, have sorry. You, have you the said kitchen? anything? I was uh, gonna say, yes, the kitchen, no, absolutely. I, I, I'd stare at where Rath Durther is probably standing and just dagger vision. Just do not, do not, do not, no, no, just uh, no, no outwards communication. Just glancing wherever uh, I think Rath Durther is and just like, no, no. You are the absolute minute she is not being oh looked at, God. the absolute <laughs> second she is stuffing her face. Oh, yeah. Oh um, my I mean, God. at this. Uh, Emery, you probably noticed that the place you were looking at, obviously, was not where Rath Gerther was standing, because you're hearing some uh, very, admittedly, quiet for Rath Gerther crunching sounds uh, from the corner. I just look a little nauseous. <laughs> Do you, the, is it like, a, is there food floating in the air? Like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Under the table if you're going to do that. Well, there's oh, a dining yeah. room as well, it looks like. Uh... Vernon peeks into the dining room, looking for Def more Definitely, windows. definitely shut the door behind us and just be Yeah. Out. And now we wait. Why the sudden change of heart? Change? Do you not remember the reason I'm here? The ridiculous charade you're pulling? Oh no, I remember very clearly. You assume that I'm doing this to give mercy to you. Quite. Awkward silence. Mm -hmm. While we wait for the guy to come back. Well, is anybody, anybody read any good books lately? I'm sorry, no, what's your name again? My name is, uh, and he looks at John. Like, I'm, I'm John. <laughs> oh, I forgot Jeremy's in here. All right. And yeah, thank you. Uh, and do you and often get place conscripted place. by noblemen to wander around and then talk in their house? Yes, quite frequently, in fact. People love my dulcet tones. Quite. Just be and careful, this or this of... one will be accusing you of things as well. Oh, don't worry. I'm a very cautious individual. Don't let my tongue slip for nothing. Let him be. He's fine. Is he? I've never seen a guard do that before. Got kicked by a horse six years ago, I did. <laughs> don't yes, really he's not have the... a filter anymore. He's not the brightest, but his skill outweighs the uh, chattiness. I see. Uh, so do you folks just wait then? Um, so I would remember if there's like a, uh, like a window or something. I remember the layout of this manor reasonably well, I would assume. Reasonably, yes. Okay, um, I'm just gonna like kind of casually, like, so I'm not seeing a window in here, but there is a window in the, is that a window in the dining room I'm seeing? There yes. is a dining room, correct. Attached, actually. Okay. I might just meander over there very casually. Sure. Just just trying to figure out a possible plan C get out of here. Uh, from in the kitchen, as soon as you enter here, uh, you hear your uncle say, uh, wait here for a moment. I need to speak with my niece in private. Loses the door. Uh, do any of you agree to this, incidentally, before the door uh, closes? I don't. Yeah, there's no one there. That's right, that's true. You can go in. You'll need a self check, though. Mm. Uh, uh, with advantage again, because you're invisible. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. There's another uh, nat 20, so uh, ooh, I can eat as much as I fucking want, actually. <laughs> I Absolutely. will look to um, Amelia to see if she wants me to stay or come in with her. Hmm. I'll just kind of give, like, give eyes. They're just like, 
wait by the door. Okay. Uh, so, Rath Gerther, you at least definitely come in here. Uh, I suppose, uh, Tim, if you wanted to, you could also. Where are you, anyway? Oh, you're over here. Um, I don't know how long it would take for me to write the thing. I don't. Am I done yet? I guess by the you time would, this... you would have been joining them around now. Yeah. Okay. Then I will stay outside. Okay. Uh, the door closes, and uh, the three of you. Oh, hang on a second. I will just teleport Rath Gerther in. That's my bad. Uh, Rath Gerther teleports. Uh, unfortunately, Rath Gerther, there are also food at the table here. Uh, as you can see, there are pies and whatnot. Mm. I mean, I guess I wouldn't know that you're in here, but... I rolled a nat 20. It's true. You could, uh, if I you mean, want to snack, you can attempt to do to so stealthily. Okay, is that stealth or sleight of hand? It's, uh, it's sleight of hand this time. But again, you also get advantage because you're invisible, right? So. Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, even, even, uh, I doubt very much that even, uh, the Lady Arceline would notice you're here as, uh, a piece of pie surreptitiously disappears from the corner of the, uh, the table. <laughs> so, what is this? You're suddenly back to being my favorite niece again. Was I ever not? I don't know what game you're trying to pull here. But we both know that I didn't do what you're claiming. I'm going to... There's only one door to this room, right? Correct. Yeah. I'm gonna just like kind of get very close to him and just kind of like whisper drop the voice for a minute just be like i know because i wasn't the one who accused you and i know Me? that sounds like total bullshit but amelia is not who she seems and whatever replaced her is the one that's trying to get you out of the picture. Um, Did you notice a change of behavior about a year ago, perhaps? His his face flashes an emotion real quick, and then he he very quickly covers it up. And um, and then he backs up just a little bit, and lays a hand on his uh, cane again says what what is this listen your trial your trial tomorrow they're just gonna kill you for no reason uh, yeah no shit yeah so do you want to live or not well obviously live but if I wanted that so badly I could have knocked you out and left through this window anyway would you there are guards patrolling outside. I'd be a hunted man for a very long time, but I could petition some lords to hear me out fairly. If I had evidence, which I don't. Now, if we were to break you out of here, would you be all right? Get out of the city. Get out as far away as you can until all this is sorted. You're not Amelia, are you? Not anymore. You see that same look flash across his face real quick. And then like a very like, like sort of shaking himself into being skeptical. Ask me. You don't think that I am who I say I am. Ask me anything that I should know. All right. You know that I am a somewhat renowned knife fighter. Where did I get this scar? And he points to his temple right over here, and you see a very faint, like, dent in his otherwise pretty pristine face. Hmm. Is this a story that um, I would know? It is a story you would know, very much so. Uh, you'll have to make a history check for it, though. Okay. Ooh, that's an 18 with no modifiers. And my history oh. is plus four. Oh! I think the remember. right dice set for the evening. 
<laughs> you remember a very long time ago when you were very young your uncle came over once and was playing with you he was playing swords and you had a little wooden sword and you got very excited and you swung it very quickly at him and he wasn't prepared and you smacked him in the temple and it bled and it bled and it bled but he laughed it wasn't at all a fighting wound it was just something he got from playing with his niece fighting wound you call a knife you'd call a toy fight with your favorite niece a knife a vicious knife wound i didn't know you were that soft I'm not saying I believe you, or I don't believe you. But I swear, if you've gotten this information from my niece somehow, I will find out, and I will end you. You understand me? That won't be necessary, but of course. Well then, what's the plan? The whole interrogation thing is a cover. We're just trying to get you out of the building. Ideally, we'll just be able to walk out of here unchallenged and then from there, get you out of the city, do something. The only thing I'm worried about is whatever quote unquote Amelia would do once you're gone to the rest of the family. I don't really know her game. As soon as she did what she did, I've been out of the loop. What did the captain say? He said he was going to send a runner to verify something, but I'm pretty sure that that note that I had was just made up by one of the guards that I brought with me. You and your friends are in very real danger. We need to leave now. Okay, so what's the best way out of here? Where are the guards at? How can we, can we just run? Is that an option? Oh no, you think I would just run? He walks over to a corner, presses a button, and the wall slides open. There's a hidden room over here. Son of a bitch. Call your friends. We need to go now before she gets up the forces she needs. That was just a time yep. to get a time gathering tactic. Yep, I, I pop open the door and just like, like, you can't do it because my VTuber model can't move her hands. But I'm just like gesturing <laughs> like, <laughs> sure. Do we know where Tim is currently? Wait, I'm right outside the door. Okay. I'm just like, do gesturing. we know that? Uh, would, yeah, uh, would you have signaled to your friends? We know uh, that Tim is with us. Probably not. <laughs> but I, I would go in the room when I saw the signal, but you may not know that I'm there and, until one of you probably inevitably probably. trips over me. Yeah, I'll probably just like real quick, like do a head count right before we go down to this passageway and be like, Yes. <laughs> oh, but Sparks is I. So I I sent Sparks to go give a message to the guy who's supposed to take your note to the other guy to figure out, you know, whether he, he okay like actually. Own? Will he be okay on his own? Oh yeah. Okay, oh yeah, then, he'll be okay. Okay, then we can just find him later. Okay. Oh, but what if he's? But you can give him all the nails you want when we're done. Are you sure we'll be able to find him? I will personally help you get to the tallest building in town to yell for him if you want, but we gotta go. Okay, okay. Into the tunnel. Into the tunnel. Grabbing some, um, grabbing some guys. Secret tunnel! <laughs> secret are you, tunnel! Are you attempting to hide the gathering of pie? Or are you just at this yeah, point just yeah. grabbing a whole pie? Yeah, they're just going straight in the pockets. Oh my nice. god. Extra pie. This is good stuff. This is like some sort of like bacon suet pie too. Like that sort of really hearty stuff you find, you know, it's got some mm -hmm. walnut in it for some reason. No idea why. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all of you uh, very quickly cram yourselves into the tunnel um, and you see like this sort of small basement with like a little um, a little gated chamber for holding maybe a prisoner or something if he, in case he needed to. You know, he's a lord. He does some fishy says sometimes, but there's also an opening to the sewers. And in you all go. Um, let's hop out to the sewers. Hold on, let me turn this off. Turn this off. Uh, let 
Where the hell are my boards? There they are. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, you know, Tailspire, when are we going to get organization for boards? Uh, <laughs> nope, that's not it. I You're going to ruin your chances at sponsorship, Jay. No! Tailspire loves Bad me. Badmouth the product too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are in the very, very dark sewers. Hold on, what am I doing? Oh, it is very life? dark. I'm just trying to move the camera on stream instead of on actual tail spike. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to summon you all to this board first uh, before I add your players and summon players to the board. And then I'm going to bring Tim and uh not amelia and vernon and maldrith where's maldrith Maldr Maldr and then where's uncle uncle where are you he's turned uncle. into a sandwich again he has turned <laughs> oh, into a sandwich uncle. Uh, oh, no. right uh and then uncle he's gonna sandwich. he's gonna have a he's gonna have a torch um Ooh, lighting. Ooh, i'm so sorry i put two of you up on like the top of the there we go um, parkour. I just figured that's where I would go, you know. Parkour, where parkour, go parkour. The campaign. parkour, parkour. Um, and so <laughs> you are in the dank sewer system of Waterdeep, a, a long labyrinth of tunnels and uh, horrible smells, and uh, maybe criminals are operating in here. You're not sure that it's notorious, this place. But before we dive into that, we're going to take a break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it has been an hour since we have been playing so we are going to get up get ourselves some water use the washroom get a couple snacks maybe uh and you all should do the same so please don't go anywhere but at the same time take care of yourselves and we'll be back in maybe well, i don't know 10 ish minutes if that see you soon Think that's Welcome back. You do not want to know what we were talking about at break. Let's go. <laughs> we, I hope you all had a fun break. We did. Um, we are, did we? Uh, yeah, it was very fun. I think it was fun. <laughs> Chad, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we were talking about on break for a point of inspiration. Oh, oh, shit. oh, oh shit. Are we changing that random party member inspiration to Rath Gerther very quickly just so that? You can follow through with that particular <laughs> bit. I'll put All it right, on my I'll Patreon. I'll remember that. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't know. Sam says he uh, he gives Mildred a point of inspiration. And Sam's like a, a DM on his own. Uh, plus, he has mod power. Mm. 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 Fair, fair. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to wait until this uh, uh, inspiration is finished. My face hurts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mildred chose violence. Um, <laughs> okay, everybody. Recover from this. <laughs> no, Sorry. we're we're in the sewers, aptly enough. And we hear Coldplay playing very softly in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's it. No play. It's a thing. No Coldplay. <laughs> You think you think Tim Tam had posters of gnome play up on her wall? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not even going to acknowledge that with a response. How you dare you? Teaching us about gnome and that. It's not my fault. I didn't have the book. It's not my mm -hmm. fault. You had the book in your hand and you were showing us pictures of gnome skeletons. Yeah, this is almost exclusively your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Brain. I have to. It's not something you can endure by yourself. You, you really thought you really thought I was going to receive the information <laughs> of how gnomes poop without comment. That I was just going to hear that and go like, "Well, I have nothing to add." Mildred's already <laughs> made two videos about it since it's happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess now I have to d deep dive into gnome lore. This Maybe is going to be the clip. <laughs> This is going to be the clip that everyone remembers about our channel. This is exactly yeah. the Eagle machinations of gnomes. Going viral mm. on TikTok, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So you are in the sewers, making your way slowly through. Now, yes, um, 
it is dark, uh, except for the torch that um, the Lord Arslan has brought with him. Uh, you can tell this was an escape plan that was already pretty well laid out. He seems to know exactly where he's going. Um, you have some time while walking down here if you wish to hold a conversation with him. Uh, but if you don't, then we can just move on to the next bit. Oh How no, we're having we been... a conversation. How long have we been walking? Uh, only for a couple of minutes. So technically the people who are uh, disguised and or invisible are still that, if they wish to be. I see no reason not to be. Excellent. Same. If yeah, you wish to remain know, so, uh, you can we'll remain invisible. Uh, you can just have to do stealth checks. Uh, again, with advantage. So you already had a whole escape plan worked out. Why did you stay? Hmm. You know, maybe you are my niece. Told you I was. Yes, but never uh, listened. you were never particular. If you are, you say you are. You were never particularly gifted with thinking ahead for these sorts of things. Oh, and you just made yourself a fancy little sewer cave, sewer cavern, to just in case it ever came up. You're just that. Uh, the longer I talk about it, yeah, it's probably not out of the realm of possibility. Do your guards know about this? Tunnel. This entrance? No. They, they know about the sewers us? running beneath our house because they run everywhere. Yeah, but but they should be significantly gonna... confused for the time being. Confused enough to scour the entire house? Did you hide it well enough? Uh, this place? Um, for yeah. the time being, given a few hours or so, I bet you they'd find out. Yeah. Right, maybe let's walk a little faster then. That's right, yes. But you really don't know why I would stay in that situation when I knew they were likely going to kill me? Trying to prove your own innocence is my only guess. I needed evidence. How was I going to get that while running? You've been... Motherfucker, you've been in and out of here this entire time, haven't you? Absolutely. Wouldn't you? I don't have to bust your ass out of here and you could have just left at any time. You never asked me. I'm just, just seething a little bit. What was the point of all this? Well, I don't know because now you've forced me to run, which means I don't have the evidence I need to clear my name. And to prove that Amelia isn't who she says she is. What do you know then too? It's been pretty obvious. My niece doesn't just do a heel turn. I'm glad at least one person sees sense. Well, your little sister doesn't much like it either. How is she? Not well. I caught a glimpse of her the other night and she didn't seem well. This doesn't happen to go up into the other manner, does it? No, it's going to pop out outside the walls within a few minutes. Come with me. We'll just see here for a quick second. Yeah. Uh, so, aside from the small bits of conversation while you're tracking through the sewers, uh, Lord Arslan doesn't give any um, sign that he's noticed your two invisible companions, and within a couple of minutes, you all come out another space. It's still raining. It's still nighttime, though now a little bit less so, uh, as it's getting creeping towards the daylight. Uh, let's see. Let's gather everyone. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Tim. Not Amelia. Uncle Ulrich. Malgris. Well, you're not Amelia makes me think of that ad. We had a baby pizza boy. The the collect ad from like 1999. Right. Nobody else Hang can on. relate. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> we had a baby pizza boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
There's Red Throne. She was at the very top. That's interesting. Uh, all right. So, um, <clears throat> it is getting close to an hour by the time you all um, leave this exit. You still have a couple of more minutes of invisibility and or disguise self, should that be a thing you're doing. Um, uh, and so you're here, and he presses up against the wall and climbs the muddy bank real quick. He says, well, the guards patrol this area every once in a while, so we've got a few more minutes before we can actually break for that tree line. I want to turn that lantern off if that's going to be a risk. Good thinking. Also, for the drama DM, I would say that since I disguised myself, like, probably 10, 15 minutes before the rest of the group turned invisible, if it's been about an hour... Mm -hmm. Do you want to change back? Probably on. Hmm? Do you want to change back? I don't know, because, like, I kind of, like, I, I don't want to, but I almost feel like I should, but I was just going to piss him off, and I don't want to, like, jeopardize his escaping, and I'm just like... Uh -huh. Do you, do you want to roll for it? Sure. <laughs> Give me a Let D20. This... 17. 17, your form drops as you leave the uh okay. as you leave the exit. So if it's been an hour then do the invisible folks. Uh the uh, Emery changed before you folks put on your invisibility by like a good five, ten minutes or so. So that's what Actually, we were, uh, I was disguised before we did the whole yeah. give us your pantaloons thing. But that definitely puts on the um, uh, it, it puts a frame of reference for you folks who are still invisible that you only have a little bit more time left. Well, my headcanon is that Tim has a perfect sense of time because she grew up in a clock tower. It just, right. you know, my osmosis. <laughs> she, um, so I think in the last like minute or so, she is going to very nimbly uh, walk in front of the uh, guy that we saved. Mm -hmm. But she's going to walk backwards. So she's facing him, but they're like walking the same direction. That way, as soon as she turns back in visible, uh, right. she is going to pop up right in front of him and she's going to go like, ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't oh, no, you make a stealth? My cardiac arrest. <laughs> Go ahead and make a stealth check for that. Uh, stealth. Again, yeah. advantage because you're invisible. That was a natural twenty. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. What That's a roll good... today. We rescue That's this good. man and give him a heart attack. Pass <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. away. <laughs> I think she's also. I think while she was in the sewer, because she lived in the woods, she doesn't really give a shit. She is going to take some mm. of the like gross sewer water stuff and like spike her hair up and use it as like. So she, now she has like anime hair, like oh all spiky God. and dark. Yeah. Yeah. It That's also scary. smells bad. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> Does Tim have any like knowledge of what bad and good smells are? Like. <laughs> she ha she knows what interesting smells are. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very different question. Yes. <laughs> she knows when things smell good to eat and when things smell interesting and when things make her want to throw up. Those right. are the three categories. That's uh, nice. very specific. Um, so in the, the remaining 10 minutes before that actually happens, uh, you're basically all just waiting for a patrol to pass by on the, uh, on the wall above you. Um, Anything happen specifically? Obviously, you changed. Does he react to that at all? Um, he doesn't act with like surprise that you're not who he thought you were. But it is he like eh, eyebrows are raised and is like ah. Uh, so you weren't kidding. You're not my Amelia ish. Listen. A lot's happened, and I'll tell you as much as you want to know, but the baseline is just, I just don't want you to die, or anyone else in that family.
Mm. I don't expect you to believe anything I say because people sure as hell didn't the first time I tried to talk sense into them. But well, you gave me a very specific example that's a little hard to shake. So either you are who you say you are, or you've gotten information from my niece the hard way. Okay, I very much hope up. it's the how, former. How would I have? How would I have done that? If your niece is, if Amelia is in that castle, well, no, I get never mind. I'm getting my stuff confused. No, no. That Amelia, the one that's there right now, being the Lady Ashleen, that's not my niece. I know my yeah. niece. That's not her. It, she's not. No, I agree. Because I saw what happened to her. Mm-hmm. So that's the important part, then. That's going to take some looking into. For now, you though, it's... I'm going to have to get to- OH MY GOD A GNOME! <laughs> Damn! Jeez! Ah! Were you scared? Yes. Good! I want to say that the minute Tim does that, Rathgurther also screams. <laughs> okay. Well, as you become visible again, you just- <laughs> <laughs> God, You're gonna get all of us caught! <laughs> that was a nice little Perfect. animation there. Good lord. Uh, you had... I see, I see you did plan ahead. Maybe you are my niece. More and more things about you yeah, just well, seem to whether or not you, count. Whether or not you believe it, I guess, doesn't matter too much. But, let me ask, if you've been trying to gather evidence, do you have anything? Do you know... It's I'm, very I got difficult. You, I helped get you out of there. Any information? I'm not leaving town just yet. We're trying. Why to don't you it. roll a persuasion check? Okay. Um, persuasion plus three is a twelve. Twelve. Oh. oh well. Okay. I don't know much. Mostly because when I came back from a hunting trip, I was immediately being accused of abusing my niece. And there was very little I could do to back things up. But it was very clear immediately that she wasn't who she said she was. I don't know how she's doing it. But she has friends. Every once in a while, she sends a runner down to the trade ward. Had them followed once, just in case. That was just before I got locked up. Mm. I want to look into a place called Lemmy House. L-E-M-M-Y? Correct. It's a flop house, as far as I know. But, um... Her runner goes there every once in a while. No idea why. I'm going to, I assume I still have like one of the copies of the wanted poster on me or I have some paper on me. Yep. Um, I'm going to just like pull some of that out of my bag. And uh, you said that, okay, so you said the people who quote unquote killed Emery, the person, the main person had like some kind of like emblem necklace thing. Yes. I'm going to try and replicate that as best I can. Um, just on a paper and show it to him. It's like, has this symbol come up at all? Um, he looks very surprised it's, and then makes a clumsy attempt to hide it. Well, does it mean anything to you? Uh, not personally, no. People who did it, this they weren't these guys, and I kind of hold out the paper, they were involved. Y yes, I imagine they would have been. Who are they? 
Well, what do you remember? I kind of just look around at my friends for just like a hot second. Just like, okay. Um, when I was kidnapped. Actually, hold on one moment. Are you sure you want to do this around some regular guards you hired? Oh, no, they're cool. They're not guards. Vernon snaps Mal's, his fingers Mal's and then back in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mal's face. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just not even blinking, just like staring at him and just face changes. Yeah, oh. my my coloring of this is Vernon's like flesh just kind of melts away and then suddenly reconstitutes as himself. <laughs> I love it. I haven't known him for very long, but they agreed to help me get you out. So for the time being, I do trust them. I see. All right, then. Uh, apologies, you can continue. About a year ago, I was on my way to your place, and I don't remember what happened, but someone must have grabbed me when I wasn't looking. And the next thing I remember, I was tied to a table, a bunch of culty-looking people surrounding me. And the leader, the main person doing stuff, had this around his neck. Then I can't remember super clearly what happened after that, but I'm, I think I died like a little. I don't know. It's, like a, a little bit. Like, like just a, a little, little. Yeah. Like I. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much of it is my memory playing tricks on me, but the next thing I remember clearly I was just kind of holds my arm out this. And when I tried to come back to Waterdeep to explain what had happened, it, Ilya von Arcelen was still there. Mm. And when I tried to explain, no one believed me. I was well, basically kicked out of the city. Hmm. No one else so, believed me. I'm not expecting you to, but. Well, like I said, the information you have could only lead to two conclusions. I'm not an idiot. Those are. Well, I told you, you were either my niece or you collected the information that was in her head. I didn't do anything to your niece. If you believe one thing, believe that. He believed you. Yay! Ulrich oh, <laughs> will remember this. Um... <laughs> Just spilling all my trauma all over the sewer dock. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> The perfect place uh, to do that kind of thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's already full of shit. Why not add to it? <laughs> um, Maldris and Vernon. Mm -hmm. Vernon, you are a con man by trade. You know when someone is hiding information. Maldris, you spend your whole life changing into other people. You know when someone is badly masking their face. Ulrich knows something about the necklace, and he's not saying anything. I'm going to walk up to him and just tell him to tell, tell her the truth. Excuse me? You're hiding something. I'm a lord. I hide lots of things. You'll have to be specific. You know about the necklace. Uh, another bad, bad attempt at uh, hiding his face. Tell her what you know. And then I pull out a dagger. This easy. You want to go for an intimidate here? Intimidate, yeah. Go for it. No. 
Um, give me one second. Where is my eight? Oh, 15? 15? Well, I gotta roll to see how he takes it, so one second. It's gonna move you within knifing distance. Oh, wait, no, I have advantage. I have um, inspiration. Oh, by all means, use your gonna... inspiration. This is what it's for, folks. No, that was worse. That was worse? Okay. Well, no. it was 15, though, right? 15 not bad. Yeah. Um, You see his eyes kind of dart between the picture and your face for a second, and you can see he's not particularly intimidated by the knife, more or less that from what he's seeing, uh, Emery has some regard for you, and that's uh, that's the issue for him. Um, and he says, uh, fine, I wasn't going to say anything until I had more information, but that necklace has, or at least the symbol on it, has been used by a small cult that's been growing inside Waterdeep for some time now. I'll put my dagger away. Tell me what you know. Uh, they call themselves the children of the Earthropod. I'm not sure exactly what they do, but they gather miscreants, malcontents, vagrants. They they haven't done anything particularly nefarious. They just seem to gather the the, the people from the gutters and and make like pledge drives and things like that. I don't, it, it didn't make any sense why they would be involved. It doesn't, which makes it all the more suspicious. Burning I mean, I can- brings back. <laughs> <laughs> Emery probably doesn't notice to be fair. <laughs> She's focused on the conversation at hand. I can, I mean, I guess the question that comes up is what do they want? But I mean, there's a dozen different things that they could gain from replacing a noble with one of their own. Especially you. You. Emery, how trustworthy are your friends? I need to know. I just kind of look at them. No one is more trustworthy than Rath Gerther. <laughs> Uh, Tim does a little wave and you can see that she still has like sewer garbage on her on her hands <laughs> uh, alright yeah, Emery I, I haven't known them very long you're gonna have to give me a persuasion check your friends are trying their best but that's a nat 18 with a plus 3 and 21 21 okay Emery, before you, or I should say, as you left, your father has become too infirm for his position, and so things were taken to the next level. Normally, someone in his position, even their family, isn't told who he is until the very end. Your father is about to give up his mast lordship, and you are the heir. And that's where we're going to leave right? it for this week, everybody. <laughs> bum, bum. I always do that. I already knew that, though, right? No, you wouldn't Wasn't have. I, I, I thought you I would have probably you would have probably suspected, but, but uh, because your your father is a very high ranking lord, and you were being trained to do his lordly stuff. But, <laughs> ah, <laughs> you, you guessed my team. surprise. I did. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, yeah. everybody. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, we are going to, as usual, do our talks episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to back out and do a little uh, break once again, maybe five, 10 minutes just to top up on water, get snacks, etc. Stretch. Same thing for you folks. When we come back, have your questions ready. 
for the cast and crew, uh, and we will be answering those questions. Uh, the cast and crew here being the same people, us. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want to ask about lighting and, and, and like, sound design and stuff, uh, that's us, too. I don't have, like, a gaffer behind the scenes or something. Um, so, <laughs> uh, get your questions ready, and be ready for us to come right back. See you soon.